A Maclaurin series allows us to calculate the value of a function f of x as a polynomial. For a particular function f of x, we can calculate the values of the coefficients in the equation. a0, the constant term, is equal to f of 0, that is the value of f of x when x is 0. a1, the term in x, is equal to f prime of 0, that is the value of the first derivative of f of x when x is 0. a2, the term in x squared, is equal to f prime prime 0 over 2 where f prime prime 0 is the value of the second derivative of f of x when x is 0. The other terms follow the same pattern. If you are not familiar with this general form of the Maclaurin expansion, there is a link to a video in the description below. In this video, we will find the Maclaurin expansion for the exponential function e to the x. The exponential function e to the x is a special case of the general exponential function a to the x. The base e is Euler's number. A defining characteristic of the exponential function is that for any value of x, the slope of the curve at x is equal to the value of the curve at x. In other words, d by dx of e to the x is e to the x. For example, when x is 0, the value of the function is 1 and the slope of the function is also 1. When x is 1, the value of the function is e, which is approximately 2.718. The slope of the curve at that point is also e. The exponential curve isn't the only curve with this property. For example, 2 times e to the x has the same property. d by dx of 2 e to the x is equal to 2 times d by dx of e to the x. And since d by dx of e to the x is e to the x, it follows that d by dx of 2e to the x is 2e to the x. In fact, there are a whole family of curves with this property. e to the x multiplied by any number has the property that it is its own derivative. We can even multiply by 0. 0 times e to the x is 0, so the curve degenerates to y equals 0. But the slope of that curve is 0 for every x, so the property still holds. If we want to specify the true exponential function e to the x, we need to add an extra condition. It can't be multiplied by anything. Quite a useful way of specifying this is to say that the curve passes through the point 0, 1, because e to the 0 is 1. Only the exponential function has both properties. It is its own derivative, and it passes through 0, 1. We can now calculate the Maclaurin series for e to the x. We know the general equation for a series. We also know that d by dx of e to the x is e to the x. What about d2 by dx squared of e to the x? Well, differentiating e to the x once gives e to the x, and differentiating it again gives e to the x again. We can apply the same logic to the third derivative, which is also e to the x, and so on. So f of x, f prime x, f prime prime x are all equal to e to the x. And since e to the 0 is 1, then f of 0, f prime 0, f prime prime 0, etc. are all equal to 1. If we take the original equation and replace f of 0 and all its derivatives with 1, we get the Maclaurin series for e to the x. Here is a graph of e to the x. We will plot the Maclaurin series of e to the x, adding the terms one by one, to see how the series gradually moves closer and closer to the complete function. The first term of the series is 1. Here is the graph y equals 1. This is obviously not a good approximation to the function. It has the correct value at x equals 0, but it doesn't follow the shape at all. The next term in the expansion is y equals x. Here is a graph of that term. Now let's add this term to the approximation. Our approximation is now y equals 1 plus x. This has the correct value when x is 0. It also has the correct slope at that point. But it is still just a straight line. 
it doesn't follow the shape of the exponential function. The next term in the expansion is y equals x squared over 2 factorial. Here is the graph of that term. This is what happens when we add this term into the approximation. Our approximation is now y equals 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial. This has the correct value when x is 0. It also has the correct slope at that point. The second derivative is also correct at that point. This is a slightly better fit. It is a quadratic curve that matches the exponential function when x is close to 0. The next term in the expansion is y equals x cubed over 3 factorial. Here is the graph of that term. We can now add this term into the approximation. Our approximation now has an extra term, x cubed over 3 factorial. This has the correct value when x is 0. The first, second and third derivatives are also exactly correct when x is 0. This is starting to look like a good fit over a limited range of x values. Visually, it follows the curve reasonably well for x values between minus 1 and plus 1. The next term is y equals x to the 4 over 4 factorial. It looks like this. We'll add this term to the approximation. Our approximation now is an extra term, x to the 4 over 4 factorial. This time the value and the first four derivatives are exactly correct at x equals 0. We won't go any further with this. Every time we add an extra term, the approximation gets a little bit more accurate. In particular, the range of x values where the approximation is reasonably good expands each time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.